Hey there, this is Samich, and welcome back to Feed the Beast. Last time, we made our way here into this maze, which is in the Twilight Forest. Threw our crap that we don't really need into here. And I have no idea if this ironwood and steel leaf legs are better than the sapphire and iron stuff. I somehow doubt the sword's better than the sapphire sword, but I'm going to use it anyways. And I'm going to continue exploring this maze a little bit, maybe find some more loot. And I'm thinking that this stone stuff kind of looks pretty cool, and that I might want to use some... Oh, holy crap, that scared the crap out of me, man. Where did that come from? Why isn't this lava going? Go lava, be free. That spider scared the crap out of me, man. Hello, bat. Okay. So, I don't know why I'm here, or if this place is even any has anything really amazing that I want. There have been a bunch of chests. If those chests turn out to have like diamonds or stuff in them, then that then this is probably a pretty good use of my time. I'm gonna grab this stuff. It's live root. Don't know what you can use it for. Let's check, why don't we? Because I've been getting it quite a bit. Raw ironwood materials seems to be the only thing you can do with this stuff. What can you do with this stuff? Make ironwood ingots. Huh. Okay, well, this is my, this sword's iron. Whoops, what did I just do? I think I just hit you on it. Well, this sword's ironwood, and it seems to be at least halfway decent. It's nothing amazing, but it's been killing things. So, this is a really cool thing for Minecraft. Like, you see mazes and stuff like mazes all the time in custom maps. But this is the first time I've really seen it in... Is there like a tripwire here? Some of them blow up. Charm of keeping. Some of them blow up, and I don't like when things blow up. I don't know if this maze wafer stuff is like better than normal cookie. Let's you it, see what I can do with it. If I can do anything with it, or if it's just like cookies. Filled tin cans. I think I checked that last time, so that stuff's pretty useless for me. So some of these are trapped. I'm not entirely sure if there's a way to tell which ones are trapped. Ironwood ingot, iron. Take that leather. Because I need leather. There are a lot of mobs in this frickin' place. Look at all the mobs that are in the corner up there. Okay, I see you, spider. Get away. Go. I kill you. I don't like that cave spider or cave spiders seem to be just be able to spawn in here. I have yet to see a cave spider spawner. So I guess they just spawn naturally in here. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I didn't see... Oh, God, there sure are a freaking lot of them. These minotaurs are scary as hell. Hello. Ooh. 
charm of... These things drop charm of keepings. Huh. I wonder what I can do with these. Oh, fuck. These are the fire things. I was not expecting there to be so many new mobs in this place. Oh, frickin' spiders! I hate you! I was not expecting there to be this many new mobs in here. Like, I think the cave spiders are the only vanilla mob I've seen in this uh, maze. Oh, crap, I'm dying. Simidian was slain by maze slime. What the? Wait, what? Oh, I guess the charm of keeping lets you keep your armor and stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's get over here, back to the maze. So I can get the rest of my stuff back. That's really cool. I should probably look to find a lot of those then. Hmm. That Naga. Hello, Ram. Enjoy your life on the edge of the world. Man, look at all these rams in there. I'm just hearing all sorts of things. Ooh, what's that? I don't know, but I don't have time to gawk at it. Need to get my stuff back. Oh, hello, my cat is coming to say hi again. I don't have any way to mine things. It let me keep my equipment, but... I guess that'll make getting my stuff easier, because... Nope, hello. My cat seems to want attention, but she'll have to wait, because I'm busy playing video games. So those maze slimes actually do quite a bit of damage. I shouldn't just let them beat on me like normal slimes could. Ugh. Get out of my face blocks. I've been meaning to get into the bees. Because I never really got into them before. And this mod pack has so many different things. Like, if you get bored with one thing, you can just go and find a million other things you can do. Which is exactly what I'm doing here. I got kind of tired of working on progressing. So I decided to go on an adventure and find this maze. Okay, I need to get to my stuff faster. Hey, was that always there? Must have missed that. Alright, let's go down. Where's my death? My death's over there somewhere, so let's see if I can find my way back. Oh man, I have no food. I have no food at all. Did I go this way? Uh, oh man, all I can hear is those stupid spiders. This is not the way, though there is a chest over there that I should go get. Did I leave any food in my little, like, chest here? Any food at all? No. Crap. Let's see if I can make my way back to that death point. I think it was this way. Up and I can no longer run. No? Question mark? Fuck. I'm gonna lose that stuff because I can't find my way back. Okay, 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 okay. I came in this way. I came in here, I turned left. Then... Right? How did I get there? Fuck! Mazes are annoying. Did I go this way? This seems like the opposite direction of the way I want to go, but... I guess... Oh, crap. Minotaur. Ignore him explosion room? I don't recall this being a thing. 
Dude, I cannot get to... Do any of these have the frickin' wafers in them? Give me that shit. I definitely didn't go this way. Yeah. Oh, these restore quite a bit of, uh, hunger. Whoa, look at all those things. I don't want to touch them. Oh, Jesus. Is this the way? No, this is not the way. Crap. Fuck, I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna lose all of my stuff. And I didn't have a charm of keeping. That time, so... Oh, my God. I can't... This... And this maze is hard and annoying. How much good things did I have on me? I dropped off most of the good stuff in the uh, chest at the beginning. Hmm. My adventure seems not to be going very well. I probably need to upgrade to better armor. There's a lot of cool armor you can get in this mod pack. Most of which I haven't gotten because it's, like, hard to get. Squirrel. Hello, squirrel. I am dead. Or I was dead. Okay. Before I go to my latest death point, which is where the armor and sword are, I want to try and get to my first death point, see if my stuff's there. Though I highly doubt I'll be able to find it. These mazes, man, they are not to be trifled with. There's my latest death right down there. And I think my second to latest death was in that direction somewhere. I knew I had pants in here, okay. Uh, anything else in here that would be of use to me? Does not look like it. Oh hey, I can kind of see the direction I want to take here. Did I not make it this far last time? Did I not look this far last time? I should... Okay, the mini-map is very helpful for getting around these places. Yeah, I think I died right over here. But it looks like my stuff is gone. Yeah, my stuff despawned. Okay, let's get back to my last death point, which is over there. Okay, I lost my pick. Lost a lot of tools. Nothing two major was lost. A lot of tools. I don't think I had anything super on me. Those two charms of keeping. Man, I'm almost starving. I hope I had a couple of uh, maze wafers left on my corpse. Nope. 
Hello, Creeper, and other things. Well, this is not the way I need to be going. That stuff's lost forever. Let's leave. Find a... Th think of something else to do for this episode. Okay, I am not equipped enough to deal with the uh, mazes, apparently. Where's the entrance to... Aha. Let me delete this. Twilight portal. Okay, that's a lot more helpful than just the thing in here. Why did it spawn me in, like, a hole? That's really annoying. And we're back in the realm of normality. It's raining out here, too. Out here in the real world. Alright, let's... Make ourselves some more armor, I suppose. Get uh, green sapphire pick, two sapphire swords, uh, sapphire axe instead of the swords, then this and this, and I guess I'll make a quartz shovel because I had one of those before. Pick. Axe. Oops, I threw that. And then I picked it up. Shovel. Sword. Sword, okay. Now I need coal. Please tell me I have more coal than that, thank you. Oh, I had more of these in here, that's okay. What's going on in this pulverizer? Nothing at the moment. I should probably turn this off. Do I have anything else I need to pulverize? Tin. Pulverize some tin. Generator's still doing nothing. So let's go ahead and make some torches. And I feel like I want to explore this world some. I haven't looked around this uh, realm yet. Wait, before I go, I want some shears. So if I see any sheep along the way, I can just take their wool because I am currently dangerously low on wool. I don't feel like making a sheep farm quite yet. Because farming's annoying. Plus, there's better ways. Like, I can just make a sheep soul shard and make a sheep spawner. Uh, I think night time. So I'm going to explore. This is the overworld in normal Minecraft, so it shouldn't be that bad at night. Emphasis on shouldn't. sort of want to find a village. Oops. What's the button I can press to make the minimap bigger? I know there's a button I can press to make the minimap bigger. Uh, 
Oh, why sorts your inventory? I don't like that button. T? Nope, that is talking. R? Press all the... There it is, X. Okay, uh, how do I zoom out? There we go. Uh, let's go through this Red Rock Mountain. Why not? I haven't showed this off yet. Ooh, copper. I haven't showed this mountain off, and I, re I really like this biome. It looks cool. Red Rock Mountains are made out of, uh... Well, red rock, as you can see. Break it, you get red cobblestone, which looks pretty cool. And... If you smelt that, you get red rock. Which, I'm assuming they named red rock instead of red stone to avoid confusing people. Ow. Because redstone is also the red thing that you use in... Ah! Game froze. That was interesting. I want to know what these shards of minium do. I'm going to look at that right now. Make a minium stone with an inert stone and eight shards of minium. That is apparently what you do with that stuff. Don't know what that does. Don't care what that does right now. It looks like being in the red, in the uh, mount, red mountain, makes you not rain. I don't have any food. I went on this journey with no food. Well, whatever. I can live off the land, eating rotten flesh, like a man, an explorer. Explore this mountain with nothing but the rotting flesh of my foes to s to sustain me, sustain me. Apparently, well, that's an interesting looking feature on the map that is coming up. Is that just like a hole into nothing? That is apparently a hole into nothingness. Well, ain't that interesting? I mean, I can see some diamonds down there. How do you zoom? Now you can zoom. I don't know how to zoom. Huh. Well, guess I'm not going that way. The world just ends. Hmm. Heard of chunk errors. Never chunk lines. That's into. Whoa! Okay. Bad things have happened. Can't move. Fix, please. Well, that certainly just happened. Let's see, we got what looks like a forest over there. Nothing really interesting. Guess we can head into the forest. Hello. So I can three-shot creepers with the sword, which is nice. Got some wolves over here. I can tame one, make it my friend. I'm not going to eat the spider eye because I don't have enough health to... Here's some cows. Mm. 
Thank you for your contribution to me continuing to move. Beach up ahead. Oh, I'm down here. Oh, crap. Time to make a retreat. Gee, gee, gee. This is a nice little beach. biome is this beach biome I thought so this looks really cool nice little cove nice little cliff face here this would be a good location for like a little base I'm still contemplating where I want to put my base on this uh, world whether I want that uh, ravine to be my permanent home or not alright and it looks like there's still nothing really interesting going on that's disappointing. What is this? Toadstool. Hmm. Ooh. I recognize that tree. In one of my other worlds, I have giant trees like that. Those are redwoods, I believe. Those things are really cool. What is this? This is an autumn shrub. I assumed that I would have need silk touch to pick that up, but whatever. Man, redwood trees in this mod look really, really freaking cool. Like, look at that. Like, I feel bad cutting it down. Not only because it would be super difficult to cut the entire thing down, but also because, well... Look at them. They look amazing. And ooh, is that a village? I don't know what that is over there, but it looks interesting, so I want to head in that direction. I think it might be a village. Ooh, lava. A village would be nice cuz I like villages. It doesn't look like a village. I don't even think there are redwood villages. It looks just like a hole. <sighs> I'd really like a village because they tend to give you good things. They're a very good source of, like, early on shelter. But since I already have a base, I guess that point's kind of pointless. up there. Doesn't look like a village. What on earth is that on the map that I am so interested in? Ain't this something? Wow, look at this thing. Got a lot of copper. Got some aluminum too. Don't really care about that. Ooh, is that uranium? Don't mind if I do. currently using to sus sustain myself. Chicken. So, fun fact. Raw chicken is one of the few foods that I consider to be worse than zombie flesh. Fun facts with me. And the reason I consider that is it gives you less uh, bars than rotten flesh does. Rotten flesh gives you two. 
and gives you the chance of, you know, the hunger debuff. Raw chicken gives you, I think, one half and also gives you the chance of the hunger debuff. And rotten flesh is pretty bad overall, so having a food that I consider to be... That looks like a desert, and I like deserts. Hello, creeper. Deserts are cool because they can have villages. And I also just like deserts. Like, they look awesome in Minecraft. A lot of my my love of Minecraft is just this natural beauty of it. Like, the game itself is so simple, it's just blocks, but it can perform very beautiful things. Like, just with the terrain generation. And this place can also, in addition to villages, have temples. Probably shouldn't be running. It is very likely that I'm going to run out of food. Hey, a volcano in the middle of the, the mountain. What are these things? Dude, these things give you blaze powder? Give me that shit. Need that stuff. Volcano. Volcanoes are pretty cool. And this stuff from the volcano is basalt. Oh. Interesting. This stuff looks cool. Basalt and uh, marble are two village are two of my favorite uh, building. Are two of my favorite building materials that were added to feed the beast. That did not just happen. I did not just jump into a ravine without looking. So let's check out this village. Dude, another volcano? Dude, this village is on a volcano. That's awesome. Oh no, another line of death. Potatoes, good, just what I like. You seem to be in trouble, guy. Hello. Oops. Have a torch. Are these cactuses? Yes, they are cactuses. Wow, I can't believe this village is on a volcano. Or a volcano. Let's see if I can cheat my way to seeing anything good in here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I need carrots. Give me some of that. And replants. Carrots aren't an amazing food source, but you don't need to cook them. Check out this uh, blacksmith. Wow, dark in here. Bronze boots, steel pick, copper, bronze, apple, cold coke, thomium. Sweet. Loot. Look at this stuff. Steel better than the sapphire tools? I'm not sure. Alright, what else do we got in this village? Any other unique buildings? Looks like a watchtower. What on earth is with this building? Where's the door? This building does not have a door. Oh, yes it does, it's over there. That's a nice spot for a door. This is just a normal house in a very strange location. Okay, so this is a cool village. This is like a volcanic village. It's just a house with a person in it. Is this stuff? What can I get rid of? This fine flesh. 
saltpeter. Huh. Well, that's something I haven't seen before. And this building is just a normal building. Yep. Still got a few more things up here to check out. So we got one of these guys. Ooh. Looting one book. I will keep you in mind, sir. What have we here? You have no door. I hope you realize this. Looks like it's just a watchtower. But I want to get into it anyways. Where's the door to this place? It's buried. Village generation always seems to be a bit iffy. Yeah, but this is just a watchtower. I don't need to go into there. What is this last building? Anything awesome? Is it a unique building? Oh, nope, there's more buildings on the other side. It's not the last one. Oh, man. Oh, man! This place... I've seen this stuff before. Uh, east? I've seen this stuff before. This type of building here. I have no idea what mod this is for, though. I think it's Mistcraft? Question mark? What is this? Hello. Okay, this is the bee villager. He is doing bee things. I don't know what they need. So I'm going to mark this place. I'm going to mark it as the volcanic village. This is something I had never seen before, a village that's like in a volcano like this, so I'm going to go leave them be so they don't get murdered by zombies. I'm going to head over here. And I have been recording for quite a while now, so I think this is going to just about end the episode. So thank you guys so much for watching, and next time on Feed the Beast, I am going to probably make something that I really, really enjoy in this mod pack. Ooh, oil. Something that I feel is a very big help to Minecraft as a whole. If you've watched Feed the Beast before, you probably know exactly what it is. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.